poppies are done. They're looking brown and ugly and all done. The blooms on a poppy are probably the most gorgeous, exquisite, fine art blooms in my yard. But we're done for now. Now I'm going to chop up all this and put it in my special compost bin. All right, y'all. One of my favorite things for obvious reasons is subscriber mail. So this package is from Sis, who is so generous. And I have been wanting to read this book. Thank you, Sis. Obviously, um, I had put this on my list. I feel like when I thought of this word essentialism, like I'd, I haven't read this book. I haven't thumbed through this book, but I feel like I need to. Um, so I identify as like simple living, you know, and really that's kind of boiling down to what's essential to me. Um, so anyway, I feel like this is going to be really good. I feel like this is going to be something I'm going to really identify with. Um, so there is a card. I love a little card. I save all my cards. Beautiful. I feel like it smells good. Hi, Zelia. Enjoy from Sis. I'll lose a little date there because I know I've heard from Sis before. So this is going to go into my collection of all my way crunchy cards. And if I can stay awake after the baby goes to sleep, then I'm going to start reading this book and I will definitely update y'all on how I'm feeling about this book. While I'm talking about books, I'm going to I'm going to shout out this book. I got this book from the library. It's a new release, The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin, the like record executive. This book though, I'm on page 122. Um, if you identify as an artist or if you work as a creative, then this is a book you should read. If you don't, then this is not a book for you. But if you identify as an artist or someone who like makes a living creatively or <sighs> making art is like breathing, you must do it. Um, if your life is lived as an artist or a creative, then you should read this book. It's really good, goes down easy. I just want to say heartfelt thank you to Sis. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's so nice to take the time to enrich yourself through something like reading a book when you spend, you know, most of the day caring for the children. Um, and if anyone has read this book, sis, if you read this book, if anyone has read this book, please let me know what you got out of it, what you think of it in the comments below. And you guys, I have a lot more subscriber mail coming up. y'all the day is dragging on so why don't we go thrift shopping
we are back home and I cannot express to y'all that was the best thrift shopping trip I've had in years years that was the best thrift haul I've had in years I wasn't even gonna go to the thrift store today but the baby was tired I knew John was gonna be working a little bit late and it was really hot outside so I didn't feel like taking the baby for a walk outside so I was like well we can walk around the Goodwill and it'll be like going on a walk but it'll be air conditioning and so I was like well let's go kill some time so me and the baby went and I think it was the thrift gods calling me in I had to go today there were so many things just right for me just right <laughs> thank oh my gosh yeah like that I have wanted a lawn chair like that for so long in a beautiful, vibrant color, and now I have it. It's so good. It's, oh, God, it's, it's a really good thrift day. This guy's glad to be back home relaxing in the bed. After you go out, you gotta relax. You gotta come home and relax, right? Did you have fun, though? Did you have fun at the thrift store, my baby? Yeah? Did you have a fun time? You did? Oh, me too. All right, I'm gonna show y'all what I got at the thrift store. Let me tell you, at Goodwill, children's books are 10 cents a piece. I got this cute little one for Huck. I love it. It's like nice and fresh. It's not wore out. It has great visuals, texture. That's gonna be so good for him. Dr. Seuss. I'm obsessed. I love Dr. Seuss. I love Dr. Seuss and Huck loves Dr. Seuss. Um, we didn't really, we minimized um, after Tom and Z were little. So I don't have things left over except for the very favorite precious things. I don't have things left over. So we're starting over with Huck. The Beatrix Potter came home with me. It had to. It really, really had to. I feel like a library I went to when I was a child had these, and I could not be more thrilled to own them. For Huck, I'll say for little Z, these will be good. I love them. Ten cent a piece. Look at these beautiful little Beatrix Potter hardbacks. They're precious. All right big beautiful basket. I'm setting up like a toy book area and shelves in the living room. I've got a lot of cool stuff coming on to the living room. The living room is going to be finished being put together. Um, John's sister got us a present that's really going to bring, uh, bring the room together. I cannot wait to show y'all a more finished living room here at the Fixer Upper. Um, Doodle Diary. This was 10 cents too, just in the kids books for Zinnia. Look at this. Look at it. You set it on the stove, and then after you stir, you put your spoon on it. Amazing. This is a present for John. He loves coffee mugs. He loves big coffee mugs. Um, he's going to look cute, especially, I think, in the fall when he's wearing a sweater and drinking his cup of tea out of here. Um, so that's a little present for him. He's always saying we don't have enough coffee mugs. Y'all, this gang is so cute. I love it. I love vintage Sesame Street. I love vintage Sesame Street. I love vintage Sesame Street. I love Big Bird. I love Snuffleupagus. Um, let me show you the gang pieces. There's no Snuffleupagus. I love this. Let me show you the game board. And to the best of my knowledge, I think everything's there for us to play. Sesame Street. I love it. Now, I'm gonna be honest, most things are overpriced at this Goodwill location. Most things are overpriced. But, I don't think they knew what this was and that's how come it's only $3. I wish I would have one of these when Tom and Z were little. The little wooden flat puzzles for little kids and babies to do. Slide them in there. Got a whole stack. It's a puzzle. 
tray. Um, so that'll go in the new play area for a new baby. If you don't fuss. All right. Now, I have never been one for this style of shoe, but I think I am now. For winter, this is going to be my slip-on and go shoe. I'm really excited about it. Get your paws off my pencils. I love it. I, th I love vintage everything. It's like everything I wish I would have had as like a kid. As a little 80s child. Hey baby. I'm telling y'all, this is the best haul I've had in years. This chair, I've been wanting one. Um, this isn't super special, but we didn't have one like this that catches the food that you just wipe off. So this is obviously for the huckleberry a little bit. Um, now this basket is even better than the last. I walked around at Goodwill with this basket on my arm the whole time because it just, it fits nice on the crook. It's a basket you can carry places and carry things in. Um, $3.49, they could tell this was a nicer basket. It is. It's worth it. Anyway, this is also going to be, I'm probably going to carry it places, to be honest, but also for the play area. Now, the last bits. I have thrifted every one of my bath towels. It's $2.99, 100% cotton. I'm a fanatic about no synthetic materials. Rainbow beach towel. $2.99. 100% cotton. It has that fun style I like. Um, I got myself a new hoodie. This still had the tag from like Target on it. Um, I like this. The fin grooms were closed at Goodwill, but I tried it on in a full length mirror that they still got around. So. Anyway, this is just a fresh little hoodie for me. Um, oh my gosh. I did not notice there were stains on the back of this. What is that? Oh, well, that's a risky take shopping at the Goodwill. But it was gonna be a nice little wet suit, not for this year, but next year or the year after, depending on how fast ZZ grows. But I love these for swimming for all of the kids to prevent sunburn. All right, now this is a nice little sweater for ZZ. I love color. This feels like cotton. It's Gap Kids. This would be nice for back to school. And one last thing is a little old navy shirt for Z. A little t-shirt for It's cute. Huckleberry's fussing. That means I gotta run, y'all. Bye.